Hello, and thanks for joining us on Encore, France 24's Culture Hub. I'm Mariam Saab in Paris, coming up on today's music show. A 40-piece orchestra and a cameo from the Flaming Lips, Foxygen give indie rock a shake-up with Hang. Running standards through a pop rock filter, three-time Grammy winners train are charging ahead with a girl, a bottle, a boat. And the godfather of French 90s pop, Dominique Dalcan set the tone for the decade. At the height of his success, the singer took an electronic turn under the pseudonym Snooze. He's here to talk a quarter century of music and his latest project, Temperance. Thank you for joining us, Dominique. Thank you for having me. Now, your latest album, Temperance, yeah. is really about the duality of the relationship between humanity and nature. And actually, it's a case of art imitating life because a trek around Italy really set the wheels in motion. Yeah, I'm, I'm very influenced by nature in a way and how can you recognize human into nature, or vice versa, it depends. Uh, it's a question of point of view, anyway. Uh, I went uh, two years ago into Italy, for instance, near Napoli, to uh, climb up the Vesuvio, the volcano in Italy. Uh, quite famous, you know, in this um, uh, movie from uh, Rossellini, um, Voyage en Italie. I don't know the word in English, but, well, it's uh, something famous. And anyway, uh, the rocks uh, were so, so powerful, so black, so deep. It was really, really, you know, something special. And I wonder how can I, you know, imitate it with sounds, with a uh, recreate landscape for, for, for this case. And uh, the Temperance Project just uh, it, uh, starts at this point. Moment. From there. Yeah. So we're going to take a look at the clip that was uh, for the song that came to life as you stared down the mouth of a volcano. Here's a small black piece of field. Rolling in the dirt Rolling in the mud Jump into fire Going on the hill A whisper Now that's very striking, the clip. It's clear that you really have an eye for images and, uh, and that could be because, in fact, at one point you were considering a career as a filmmaker, just like your father, who was in fact a yeah, filmmaker. Yeah, I'm very then influenced. You, yeah, you're right, I'm very influenced by... You went into music. By uh, image, picture, um, something pictorial. But when uh, I started music very young, and uh, it was a clear choice for me because I thought it was more easy to practice music than uh, make a movie because you need others to make uh, movies. For music, I started with piano only, you know, something very <clears throat> minimal uh, in the basement. Uh, and, it, and it was, yeah, you know, my beginning as a songwriter. I consider myself as a songwriter much more than musician, in fact. You know. And I'm a singer also. Um, so now, now you can use the images and the clips to add another dimension to your music. Yes, it's something on the, the top answer. and maybe it can help this kind of music because uh, uh, once again I try to create musical landscapes, sonic landscape, and it's very uh, interesting for me and I feel very sincere in this kind of act. Uh, so uh, I try to develop that. Um, when I started, I was, you know, very involved into pop music, especially French pop music, because I sing, sing in French. Um, but with all these years, I changed my mind. Yes. 
not my mind, I still in love with this kind of music, but I'm very eclectic, I feel it like that. Yes, you've had some <coughs> folk, some <coughs> rock, yeah, some yeah, jazz, exactly. and electro has been <coughs> a big part of, of your, your musical catalogue as well. Now, Temperance actually brings together your first two loves, we could say, pop and electronic music. You're right. Did you feel a bit of a whack of nostalgia as, a, as you forged a new bond between the genres that at the beginning of your career you actually played under two different musical identities? as Snooze and then there was Dominique Dalcan. Well, as when I saw Snooze, it was a total uh, different um, period. I mean, the society was not exactly the same. And um, it was maybe something against, uh, you know, cl uh, cliche ghetto into music, stuff like that. And I've tried to, you know, do something very cinematic once again. Uh, and it was at the same at this period, mid '90s. It was, uh, uh, you know, with this kind of sound from Massive Attack. I don't know if you remember this band. Yes. Something really, you know, deep and powerful. And the beginning of Mowax. I don't know if you remember. Also, this label uh, with Motor Bass in France. Uh, beginning of Air. It was something, you know, uh, so you very came powerful. Up in the same breath. Yes, exactly. Today is quite different. I mean, um, uh, everything is mixed. It, it's a huge mix, a blending uh, of uh, I don't know influences. To the kids now, you know, listen to on stream on, on the air, uh, everything. Um, so it's not against something. It's with something now. I mean, and temperance is hopefully with people. <laughs> I mean, it's something generous. Generous. So we've all we've all got temperance. Uh, we're going to be playlisting temperance. I'm sure yeah. once it once it drops. Uh, and, but you know, I'm always curious about who musicians listen to in their off time. So uh, so we're going to switch things up and do a little bit of crate digging with okay. you okay. and spin your top albums from across the ages. Now let's start with a record that coincides with your own uh, 1991 debut. This is Loveless mm -hmm. from Irish uh, Rockets, My Bloody Valentine. Now how did you feel the first time you heard? This record. It was something so huge, in fact, because it's so. They create again wall of sound, the famous wall of sound from Phil Spector, you know, in the 60s, uh, but in the 90s. So it was, you know, with a lot of electricity and uh, sonic waves. Um, and uh, well, it was uh, a shock for me, obviously. I saw them on stage at the Olympia. And they played only for 20 minutes. It was, you know, very uh, a punk act, something like that. Uh, and I've loved the, the message. Um, so it was, yeah, obviously very important for me. Um, I like very much the, the, the culture. You do it yourself, by yourself, the, you know, for the, the punk message, uh, because I grew up at this moment. And then, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a band, uh, well, very uh, typical from the 90s, very powerful and still very influenced. They influence a lot, the, the, the young um, listener today also. That's obviously music that you carried forward sure. and that continued to of influence course, yes. you. Now, let's move on to one of the most versatile dance records of recent years, Jamie XX's In Colour. Now, what colours did it leave you seeing after first listening to that record? Uh, I... I choose Jamie XX because, because it's something very actual and uh, we just released the album I think last year and he's back now with the XX and it's something very modern but in fact it's very old school as well because he recreate uh, stuff with breakbeat uh, music, garage, garage music also. So it's a uh, very old uh, cooking. <laughs> I don't know the word, but I'm sure you understand. And it's uh, mixed old yeah, and yeah, new. of course. And it's but very it's, it's vibrant. It, actually, yeah, it's an tricky, album. and it's um, I don't know. It's something very easy, in fact, but with quality. So I like very much the the, the feeling and the spirit of this music. Well, yes, you're not the only one who thinks so. It's critically acclaimed record. It got him a lot of attention. A very strong debut from Jamie XX. And uh, we're going to wrap with a pick, uh, a throwback from 1978, Brian Eno's ambient uh, electronic album, Music for Airports. What makes this guy is it essential really, listening? Yeah, this guy is important for me. It's essential. Maybe I'm, 
I would like to be Brian Eno. I feel like you have a very similar vibe to Brian Eno, actually. Okay, thank you. It's, uh, it's, uh, I like when you talk about that. <laughs> uh, so, no, I mean, uh, I think about, I mean, he starts with pop music, with Roxy music, with Brian Ferry, Ferry as a singer, so it's very, very popular. But in the same time, you know, he tried to think about what the position of uh, the sound in the society, what's the position of the sound? I mean, is, is it something social? Is it something politic? Um, and um, I I'm, I'm feel very close from this kind of So uh, let's see what you think about today's new releases. We're going to have a look now at this week's new music releases. Start with uh, Foxygen, breathing new life into American indie rock. They're back with Hang, their most ambitious album to date. A 40-piece orchestra feature on each of the eight tracks. Crashing the party, we've got cameos from The Flaming Lips, Stephen Drotz, and The Lemon Twigs, Brian and Michael D'Adrio. Let's cut to the music. This is Follow the Leader. And that's all we've got time for today, I'm afraid. We're going to leave you with a little teaser from Train's latest album, A Girl, A Bottle, A Boat. It's called Play That Song and it samples the 1938 standard Heat and Soul. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you Dominique. for having me. Thank we'll you be very checking much. out Temperance and be sure to uh, connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and online. Stay tuned because there's more news coming up on France 24 right after this. When you gonna play that song, uh, when you gonna earn that pay, when you gonna play that song and make my day, she said, play